Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I am so excited about the video I'm gonna film for you guys today. But before I get into that, if you guys are new here, my name is Sherilyn Gingrich. Thank you for coming and checking out my channel. I am starting out filming in a really weird spot. I'm actually in the Dunkin' drive through because the line is like huge, especially with like the restaurant or whatever you want to call it still being closed down due to COVID. The video I'm gonna film for you guys today is I'm gonna show you how you can make a jean skirt out of a pair of jeans. And the reason why I'm starting this out in my car is because I'm actually headed to the thrift store to find myself a pair of jeans that I like. I want a light wash because I only have one light wash denim skirt. Excuse me a second. I'm gonna order my Dunkin'. I'll be right with you. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Anyways, I only have one light wash denim skirt and so I really want another one. So I'm gonna be looking for a pair of light wash stretch jeans to make the denim skirt and I think I'm gonna make a shorter like a knee length denim skirt as opposed to a long one but that is what I'm gonna be doing in this video and I hope you guys enjoy this I know I'm super excited to show you what I'm gonna do so come along and I will show you guys how you can make a super easy super cheap jean skirt okay guys so I got my Dunkin I haven't even tasted it yet but mmm so good I got I'll tell you guys what I got since you didn't see it when I went through the drive-thru I got just an iced coffee and then if you guys like coconut but have never tried coconut in your coffee, you are missing out. You gotta try it. So I got an iced coffee with a coconut shot and then I don't have any like stevia or anything like that with me. So I got three cream and two Splenda, just their normal cream I guess. And then Splenda in here for a sweetener because I didn't want to do the sugar. I just pulled into a parking spot so I could stop and tell you guys just a couple more things. I'm not sure if this video is going to be just over today or today and tomorrow. I want to find the pair of jeans that I want to use for to make the skirt. Um, but I only sew when Zendaya is sleeping. Sorry, someone wants attention in the backseat. But I only sew when she's sleeping because she likes to play around with the stuff I'm trying to work on. So I'm not sure if I'll get it all done today or if it'll be over tomorrow as well. That is what I'm planning on doing. So I'm going to head into Goodwill and take you guys along with me show you what I find in there Goodwill and sorry I'm not gonna be looking at the camera at the moment since I'm driving but I thought I would kind of just give you guys a little bit of a rundown of what I found and what I'm gonna do so apparently fitting rooms are closed which I guess it kind of figures because they are everywhere else too um, and it's kind of a bummer oh and they're not accepting returns so therefore I just bought one pair of jeans and I got the same size as what I have, like some of my jean skirts are, but I'm really bad at telling like what jeans um, will fit me and what wouldn't without fitting them on. So it's a little bit of a gamble with what I did, I guess, but um, I just bought one pair and they were only like $4.75. So really it's only gonna be $5 and a little bit of time. So if they don't fit, I'm just going to pass the skirt along. I'll still use them to show you guys how to make a skirt, but I'm just gonna pass it along to someone else I know who they would fit so that's kind of what's going on with everything like with the uh, fitting rooms being closed and stores not accepting returns um, and they're not even accepting returns like after this time if the stuff was purchased during this time if that makes sense to you guys so it's kind of a uh, like erg kind of frustrating but I guess I can understand and it's policy and that's okay so that's where we're at so now I'm gonna head home and see what we can do with the pair that I got. I debated keeping this clip in the video just because there's not much purpose to it, but guys, oh my word, this day is so beautiful. Hey guys, so I got home from Goodwill and I fit on the pair of jeans that I got. It's the ones that I showed you guys um, and they fit. Ugh. I was literally praying that they would fit because I knew I couldn't return them and it, it was only five bucks, but 
five bucks feels like a lot sometimes especially if it's you know completely wasted or something so this is what they look like they're a high-waisted pair of jeans and I figured if I don't like the high waist because sometimes my stomach can be kind of sensitive to like high-waisted things that sounds weird but I tend to wear my skirts lower so yeah we'll see how that works out if I don't like the high waist what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to cut it right here and then it will just be like a normal waist so anyways this is the waist and then they're a really light wash kind of like white almost denim they're I mean they're light blue but um they have kind of like a, a white woven into them or whatever you want to call it I don't know how to explain it but that's what they look like I love them they are a little bit skinny down at the bottom but I think they're gonna be okay you want to be careful when you're choosing your jeans and I didn't really say this in the um earlier I don't think but you want to be careful that you don't get ones that are too skinny so that the bottom here the bottom of your pant leg has enough material to fill in the slit for your jean skirt which I will explain all of this I'm sorry it's probably gonna be a little bit confusing but also another thing, and this is just something I am starting to like, is I love my stretch jean material. I almost can't wear something that's not stretch. It's just, ugh, I just don't like it. And it's not very practical for me as a mom. I don't really want to get something that's not practical for me through the next, you know, five years. Because honestly, guys, I keep jean skirts forever. <laughs> so, um, so this is a really nice stretch material. It definitely is not your typical, like, tough jean non-stretch it's also a thinner jean material which is great as well if you're someone who doesn't like the thick heavy denim for your skirts i'm gonna get started on this and i will try to talk you guys through what i'm doing and show you what i'm doing as i do it so here is what that pair of jeans look like i just kind of cleared everything off my table so i have a good working space and i can show you all what i'm gonna start with i'm gonna be making an ankle length jean skirt so these will actually get docked probably about right here something like that if you want to make a floor length jean skirt, you will need two pairs of jeans because what you're going to do is you'll use the one pair for your main, you know, jeans. And then the second pair, you will cut the legs off, like say right here, and you will pretty much just fill in this big triangle area right here. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this skirt. But because I'm only making it knee length, I can use the pant legs down here to fill in this upper triangle area. So for starters, what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start by ripping out these side seams that go all the way up to the crotch area and you will rip this out as well. Now, if you don't like ripping things out or you're going for more of a shag look, you can take a scissors and you can cut right here. Sorry, my camera is just focusing now. Um, you can cut right here very carefully beside this side seam and that will do the same thing and it's much quicker the only thing is you might have um some threads that end up fraying out from the material in this like triangle part once your jean skirt is all sewed together so that is just something to be aware of if that's the way you choose to do it but if you're looking for a quicker way and you don't feel like ripping out the whole entire side seams that is a way you can do this as well so that's what i'm going to start with doing and i'll get started on that and then i'll show you guys what the next step is to turn this pair of jeans into a jean skirt. So I just decided to take a second and show this to you guys. I want a really clean edge here. So this is the bottom of the pant leg, which is probably just gonna be scrapped since you're using the pant leg just to fill in. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rip out the hem here so I don't have to cut off that little bit of material so I have maybe a half inch of extra material to work with okay guys so I got this ripped out but I wanted to take a minute and show this to you look at how much I gained just by ripping it out so this is the original seam right here that's where it was I gained probably at least an inch if not like an inch and a quarter of extra material just because I took the time to rip out this hem okay guys so I just got done ripping out the side seams and it took forever. I forgot how long this took because last time I made one of these, I just cut it, like I told you guys, right beside the seam. Um, but it did end up fraying a little bit and I didn't want this one to have like the frayed look. I want it to look very finished. I got it all done, I ripped it all out, but um, I was looking at the waistband and I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually cut down the high-waisted waistband, I guess if you call it that. I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do that um, because there's no sense I don't do it now and then I have to go back and do it later I might as well just all do it now so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'll show you guys how I do that and I'll show you guys what the skirt looks like at the moment 
Okay, you guys, so here we go. As you can see, um, I obviously I took out the bottom hem on each of the pant legs. So yeah, I ripped them out. As you can see, um, at the crotch, I just went straight across. So I'm going to have to end up ripping out this a little bit up here and same here in the back but i'll show you guys what i do and how i do that but yeah these are this is what they are looking like at the moment all right so here we go here's the waist as you can see it's a, like a three button high waist what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna end up taking these belt loops off um there's four belt no there's five belt loops and if you look at the inside i think we're gonna try it i think i can actually just um cut or not cut um rip out this seam right here all the way around and it will just give me one waistband now obviously it won't be quite as heavy as what the top one is but that's fine with me because like the the uh this one isn't backed like what this one is but like i said that's fine um there's going to be a zipper and a button there and then it will just stop right here and it won't have any belt loops on it so it'll look like a normal waistband Okay guys, so I finally finished all my ripping out. Part of me thinks like that it would be, have been better, sorry, <laughs> just to cut out the waistband. Um, because as you can see here, I had to leave this on because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double that down under and I'm going to re-sew this stitch right here because I had to take that out. I didn't think I would, but I had to. Um, these little blue dots were what was left over of the belt loops, I think is what they're called, sorry. Um, they were not hard to take off, but yeah, as you can see, it looks like this denim was distressed or dyed after those were put on. So anywhere that like a seam was taken out or something was taken off, you have that dark blue. But that doesn't really bother me because as you can see here, there's a little bit of a the dark wash going on and over here as well. So yeah, it doesn't really bother me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-sew this seam up here for the waistband and then just turn this down over because this was one complete piece um so i couldn't take this off without taking it off all the way down to the second or the last buttonhole but i need that one so i had to keep it on if that makes sense and then at the sides here um i had to end up snipping a little bit of the seam there because um if you can see here on the inside this seam was sewn shut like after the waistband was already put in so in order to take that out that little um or to not snip it i would have had to take the seam apart down the side and that is one thing i did not want to do same with here the back middle seam i had to do that like do a little snip there um and over here the side seam as well sorry i have a lot of threads going on so basically what i'm going to do to complete the waistband is i'm going to sew this down and put in that fine little stitch all the way around um and then i had to do the same thing here because this this panel was one piece so I'm just gonna turn this under oh, I'm sorry I'm having problems getting it but anyways I'm just gonna come kind of turn that under like this or something like that and then the seam will go from here and run all the way straight out so it won't look completely like a separate waistband does in a pair of jeans or a jean skirt but it's still gonna look pretty good, at least I think so. It's something I'm happy with. So I'm getting ready to sew, but I thought I would take a minute and just kind of show you obviously what I'm gonna do first before I do it, and then I'll show you the finished product after it's done. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm gonna start by finishing off that waistband. So if you guys are watching this while you're sewing and you're not doing a waistband, just fast forward past this part and um, you can continue watching with what I'm gonna do next. I'm going to go around and I'm actually going to zigzag the end here because I don't have a serger and I don't intend on serging the ends. Um, I'm just going to go around and put a zigzag in right here and um, all the way around uh, the inside before I sew this top seam um, because I just don't want it to fray and because jean does have a tendency to fray especially if it's washed multiple times so I'm going to go ahead and Put a zigzag in just to try to keep the life longer so it doesn't fray as much so that's what i'm going to start with doing and then i'm going to go ahead and do that top stitch for the waistline and then the waistband will be done
that zigzag edge as you can see here and it's just along the rough edge that's going to be flipped down it's nothing perfect nothing fancy but it's going to work and it will definitely help put another barrier in there to make it harder for your material to fray i'm going to go ahead and sew in that top seam it's going to be right along this blue line because that's where i took the one out of and so that's going to turn everything down you're not going to see any of the rough edge and it's going to complete my waistband the waistband part of the skirt. Um, as you can see here, I just sewed like a seam or a, a stitch, I guess it's called, right over top of where that previous one was that I had to rip out. And it has a nice finished look all the way around. All the way around here, around the back, around the sides. And then this is the other side of the front. I forgot to show you guys how I finish off what was the crotch area of the jeans. So right now, um, this is just a straight seam that kind of just ends right here. But that doesn't really, like I don't care for how that lays out when you sew it, um, when you add in the fill in, I don't care for how the seam kind of ends right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my seam ripper and I'm going to rip like uh, the seam out maybe up to about here, so straight up. And then this is gonna lay over and kind of create that little V thing that you can get in some other jean skirts. I'm gonna do the same thing for the back here. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do and then we'll get to cutting off the jeans at the length we want. Got the back ripped out. Here's what it looks like. You have the seam that was straight right here and now it's not basically. So what it's gonna be like when you sew, so you're gonna lay this one under. Now, granted, you could always leave them straight and not take them apart. If that's what you like, that's fine. That's not my preference, so I'm gonna take them apart and I lay that one under and this one comes on top. And then you're gonna sew a stitch right here and this end will most likely, unless you like an unfinished end out, it will be tucked under like this, okay? So you're gonna sew a seam here and a seam here and then here is where your fill-in material will start. So this is what the back looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and do the front and then I'm going to stitch these over right on top of these two seam lines. And then we are ready to cut this to the length we want and do the fill-in in the middle. I finished sewing right here you guys can see this is what it looks like um, I'll just show you guys up close what I did but I did um, a seam like right on top you can kind of see here all the way out to here and then one seam down to here and then I just back tacked over this little section just to make it extra strong because I don't want that ripping out because that's kind of like a stressor point there um, and then I just sewed another seam right here or another stitch right here just kind of for the looks part of things i guess but it does help to reinforce it i'll show you guys the back and then we'll go ahead and cut this off for the length we want here's the back for you guys so um i basically did the same thing here i did a double stitch coming down right there and right there and then i kind of just back tacked a little bit right here just to make sure that this corner is um good and sewed down and then i turned my material or my um edge under right here as I sewed to see it look like this. So I made sure to turn that under and same with this one right here. I turned that under and made sure underneath that it was turned under. So when I sewed over top of it, you have that nice finished top and you don't have to worry about any of your rough edge showing if you want a good finished look. So that's how the back looks and then front with the whole crotch area taken care of. I have this um, light wash stretch skirt that I really love and it's perfect length on me so I went ahead and laid it beside these jeans and I think what I'm gonna do instead of laying it on top of the jeans and just cutting them off I'm gonna actually measure the length of this skirt and I'm gonna do the same thing for the jeans and then cut them off accordingly obviously add maybe about a half inch to an inch to the bottom of the jeans 
to allow for some hem and stuff like that. spreading out the bottom of these pant legs like this and I can either lay them this way with um, this at the bottom this hem or I can flip them around and do it this way you kind of have to just patch it in as your material fits but you lay it in like this and then what you're gonna do which obviously this is gonna be pulled up farther but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna line this middle seam up right here I like when the seam goes straight down in the front of my skirts instead of across if you prefer to cross, you're more than welcome to sew it in that way. But I like the seam coming straight down the center. So then you're just going to sew over this seam line, I guess you want to call it right here. Just down this side, down that side. And then if you want to go back and um, put a zigzag on the inside of this fill-in piece to keep it from fraying, you're welcome to do that. So you do that on the front, you do that on the back. And then once that's all sewn in, you're going to dock it all off so it meets evenly here at the bottom. And you're going to turn your hem under for whatever length you want it. And you're going to sew your hem and then you are done with your skirt. So I'll show you guys real quick what it looks like in the back. And then we're going to go finish sewing this skirt. I see this isn't sewed or anything, but here is what this is going to look like then in the back. Let's go get these pieces sewn in. I will show you guys what I'm doing and then I'll show you all the finished skirt. and I'll show you what the skirt looks like. Not finished yet, but I'll kind of show you what it looks like to give you a reference point. Um, so here we have the front and here is the back. So I'm gonna flip the skirt inside out and just kind of show you, I haven't cut off anything from these two panels yet because you wanna wait to cut off to your stuff till you make sure it fits, it looks good, everything is, is good. So, um, it looks kind of shaggy. You can see these where the panels are right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this panel right here, right beside where that seam is. You can see the seam. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and even out these, the bottom here, this hemline, um, and same for the back one. So I will do that and show you guys then what it looks like and then it's ready to hem and that is the final thing. Then you're done, then you have your skirt. Okay, so I went ahead and cut that off and now you can see we have a nice clean edge at the bottom. Obviously it needs hemmed, but it's nice and straight. And then here, here's the back. It's It has a little bit of a curve to it, but it's gonna be fine. Once we hem it, you'll never know, it'll be great. The back obviously flares out a little bit more than the front and that has a tendency to happen with these skirts. You almost can't avoid it. It has a lot to do with how you sew this crotch part over. If you sew it up farther, it's going to pull in this. You're not going to have as wide of a V back here. But it is nice if you want a little bit more leg room in your jean skirt. So I'm going to go ahead and sew up the hem and then show you guys the finished product. All right, guys. So here is the finished skirt. I went ahead and laid it out for you guys so you can kind of see the whole overview of what it looks like. This is the finished one. I'll go ahead and fit it on so you guys can see what it looks like that way. But yeah, this is it. This is how you make a jean skirt out of a pair of jeans. It's fairly simple and super, super cheap, especially if you can thrift your jeans for a couple bucks like I did. guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was something new for you guys and maybe give you some ideas for a project you could work on or for some inspiration for some new projects that you could work on in the upcoming future if this is the first video you guys are seeing of mine and you're new to my channel here on youtube i would love 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 it if you guys would subscribe to my channel and join this group i have going on here and see my upcoming content if you guys enjoyed this video, it would be awesome if you give it a thumbs up for me. That lets me know that you love this type of content. You love this style of a video. So I know for future reference. 
Also, if you guys have ever done any sort of sewing project like what I did today, whether it is jeans to a jean skirt or maybe some other super fun sewing project, it would be awesome if you guys would drop a comment with that down below and I could read what you guys have done with your sewing projects. That is just something that is super fun for me to read and I really do enjoy that. Thank you guys again for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or week wherever you're at and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!